What's going on guys? Today we are grading the Crucible promo. This is a one part promo, only going to be one part. It's an okay content drop, just a little conf It's like just another one of those just end game filler content drops with really like no theme, just something to do in June slash May. That's what this is right here before RPs in the new season. I guess the final season comes out here at Madden. Um, but of course, if you are part of the 67% of people who watch the videos that are not subscribed, let's change that right now. Head down there, hit the subscribe button, turn on those notifications. Um, the only sub to this channel, we also are going to be doing some uh, college football content as well over on my second channel. A link for that will be down in the description as well. If you want to sub over there, we're going to start uploading some uh, college football stuff as some news is coming out. Uh, I believe there's going to be a trailer tomorrow, so I'll probably upload a video with the trailer tomorrow, stuff like that. Um, all coming out on both channels. Definitely should be a good summer. Should be a good summer. So make sure you are subscribed. But let's get started with, I guess, the free card, the free Levante David. Um, there are some 97s, but we're not going to even waste our time talking about 97s or 95s or even 92s that can turn into 95s. We're not even going to waste our time with these cards because it's June, it's May. Um, we don't care about them. And they don't even get abilities or anything. We don't really care about those cards. Um, but the free Levante David. He, like, stat-wise, and he's not a 99 overall, which he should be. I don't know why he's not. It really makes no difference Um, as if that's, like, a gold 99. But the abilities are actually pretty good Um, as he does get three custom ability buckets. Starts at a 92. He's a free card, of course. Um, Does get, you know, under pressure, uh, tackle supreme, uh, edge threat elite, deep in zone KO, film study, acrobat, lurker, pick artist, lurk artist. So no mid zone, but, you know, be able to get tackle supreme. I'm maybe deep in zone. Oh, no, probably film study. You probably would go tackle supreme, film study, lurk artist. It's a pretty good free combo for a user. I'm not bad, or if you want to play him off the edge, I, I guess you could. So, Levante David, I'll give him like a B minus, okay? B, B minus. Pretty good card right there. Don't hate it for a free card. If that said 99, people, people probably wouldn't be as upset, but it says 98, so people are like, free 98 in June? I don't want that, you know? I don't blame him. I really don't blame him. So, um, there is somewhat of like a crucible promo or i mean not promote obviously there is crucible like theme team slash motivator chemistry um but the champions they get 4x chems and the ltds they get 8x chems um and all it really does i i, I think it does boost and we go check over here i believe it does they'll probably say if it boosts but it says right here so the crucible uh includes a team chemistry when adding ltds and champions and heroes and obsidian players to your lineup that boosts 92 crucible players to 95s and 95 to 98. So that's all we really know. We don't know if it's gonna boost like the normal cards. They didn't mention that yet. I would assume that, yeah, why why would it not? I would assume it, it should boost them somehow, right? Right? It should be even boost the 99s. Because if not, what's the point in having a crucible team? Because none of those 95s or 98s are worth even running. But Vince Will Fork, inside stuff, he also um, here is here is custom ability buckets. Each of the champions get two of them, as well as charge up X factors, as you can see right there. Um, but under pressure, double or nothing, film study, tackle supreme, edge straight elite, defensive rally, inside stuff. This doesn't make sense. Oh, I put inside stuff here, but you know, some pretty decent ability. Under pressure is cool. Um, of course, the X factor is gonna be really, really nice. So, um, Vince Will Fork, he's pretty good. I would probably, he'll be. You know, you guys see the 99 block chain, 98 acceleration, really good size. We all know how Vince cards normally play. Good strength. Um, finesse is a little bit low. I think Vince is probably going to be like a... He's like a B plus, A minus level card to me. I think he'll be pretty good though. I, I think he'll be pretty good. We're at the end of the year where, you know, there are so many good options in the game right now. I, I guess like with an X factor, Vince, is gonna, Vince could be tough. Like you could make Vince tough if you needed to. You definitely could. Um, 100%. All right, we then, we then have AJ Terrell, okay? Let's see what he's got here. Um, two custom ability buckets, short route KO, flat zone KO, bench press, acrobat, deep route, deep out zone, film study, inside shade, outside shade, mid mid zone KO, medium route KO, and deep in KO. So, gets pre-baked. Okay, let's get pre-baked pick artist. You have two of these abilities for free you can run. So, probably, what? Depending on if you play man or zone, you have options here, which is pretty nice. It's pretty nice. I, I don't hate it. So you can go, you know, flat zone with the mid zone. Or he, he, he doesn't get deep zone. You have to pick it whether deep out or deep in. But not bad for AJ Terrell. I, I think this card's honestly his tackling stat shouldn't be that great. So I, I would probably give the man like an A. Let's go A A plus for a, a, for AJ Terrell. Pretty solid card right there. All right. 
Von Miller, built-in edge threat elite, okay? He's also going to get film study, double or nothing, under pressure, edge threat elite again. Why are they doing, what, what, what are they doing over there, bro? What are they cooking? Defensive rally, inside stuff, and lurker. Okay, obviously you could run, you know, uh, unstoppable force on him still with edge threat elite, so you kind of have the pressure and the animation, which is a pretty good setup. Von Miller cards play well. I think this card's probably an AA+. Plus. He'll just be a good edge rusher. That's what he'll be. He'll just be in the lane. He'll be good. He'll be tough to face. All that good stuff. Oh, we then have Greg Jennings. Okay. Puts the team on his back, as we all know. Jukebox for free. Gets the charge ups, of course. Let's see what he gets here. Route tech, wide receiver, apprentice, short in, short out, deep in elite, deep out, outside apprentice, slot apprentice, slot omatic, playmaker, evasive, and acrobat. So. I'm not even sure what my setup would be on Greg Jennings. Probably jukebox, route tech. What's the point? Like, what, you give him wide receiver apprentice for free, so why even give him outside and slot? They just toss in everything on these guys. Greg Jennings, pretty solid. I think he's an A to A minus level card. For sure. He'll be good. He'll be good. He'll be good. And again, I'm I'm when, I, when I'm grading these cards at, at this point of the year, I'm grading them based off of other 99s, not off compared to like a 97, for example. So, so do keep that in mind. Um, we then have Brandon Jacobs. So I'm definitely going to try this card out today. 100% there'll be a gameplay coming out with Brandon Jacobs. Whether be, whether it's today or tomorrow, I'm not sure yet. Um, but Brandon Jacobs, man. <laughs> Giants, Niners, but you guys see it. Six foot four, 264 pounds. So um, he's not the heaviest running back that we've, of course, like seen in the game. Let's go to, let's go to running backs. I mean, we're probably going to have guys like like who like uh william perry bettis is 256 so as far as traditional running backs go like not out of position he is actually the heaviest in the game and we have a guy who's 330 we, we know this card is very good we know he's very good but the problem with brandon jacobs will be that he doesn't get the good juke animation he does get tank even though he's gonna get joystick and evasive or bruiser whatever you want to run i mean he shouldn't be that kind of a pass catcher but he does get route technician which should cover up the little route running, not the catchy as much though. But if you have like a gift wrap, you should be okay. You know, you should be fine. Brandon Jacobs should be, should be a pretty good card to face. I mean, not a good card to face. Should be a good, a good card to use. Should be a solid card. Um, I'm going to give him an A. I'm going to give him an A. He could be A plus potential if he had the good juke move. Again, I think Najee Harris is still like the perfect build of a running back. Either him or debatably Dickerson. But I like that little extra weight that Najee has. But yeah, tank with you know angry runs or freight train with evasive and joystick maybe you don't even go you know you probably would still want to go evasive on the card but next up justin herbert pre-baked gunslinger charge up x factors does get omaha by the way pass lead two set feet one hop route master dashing dead eye qb playmaker pocket dead eye no look dead eye tactician well, do you, can y'all hear that no maybe maybe you can i don't think you i, I don't think you actually could hear what was going on if you could hear let me know um, no look dead eye match tactician one in backyard QB. So as far as setups on Justin Herbert go, I wish that Gunslinger was in the discount because Gunslinger is the ability I like to pay full price for as it is only two AP. So them giving you Gunslinger for free might sound good, but it's not as good as you think. You much would have rather had, you know, set feet lead or hot route master or something like that. So the setup here with Herbert, I would probably get like, it really does depend on how much you run, like throwing the run and stuff like that. So Maybe you go pass lead or Sefi, but I would definitely run one of the two. And then I would go hot route master. I, I, I might as well go backyard QB. Backyard QB for zero. Oh, man. Maybe you don't even go with a hot route. I mean, is it just that, uh, uh, maybe you go fearless. Maybe we go Sefi for one. Fearless, we're still at one. We have we already have gunslingers. You have Sefi, fearless, gunslinger, and then you just pay full price for hot route master 3 AP. That's a four AP setup, and you get X factors too. Maybe it's what you mean. what you go for. Maybe, maybe that's the move. I don't know. It's really up to you. But Herbert does get an upgrade. He's pretty solid. Let's go AA minus for Justin Herbert. I'm into our LTDs now. First up, we have Whitney Merciless. Okay, I'm not sure what Whitney Merciless's uh, traits are gonna be, as we haven't had a card, I guess, since 22. I guess is what this guy's saying. But Unstoppable Force has a pre-baked ability, as well as him being able to get X factors as well. Um, which is going to be crazy, you know, fear monger, or, or run no X factor as he already does get unstoppable four, so you're probably fine there. Inside stuff, tackle supreme, uh, under pressure, speedster, edge start elite, deep end zone KO, which is weird, 
Film study, deep out zone KO, acrobat, lurker, double or nothing, no outsider. So, and by the way, he gets three discounted ability buckets. Unlike the champions who get two, these cards get three, which is pretty crazy. So, Whitney Merciless should be a monster. He should be like a good edge 6 1 guy. He could even be your user, I guess, if you want him to be, I guess, because he gets lurk artists and stuff like that, or lurker. You know, do what you want with the card. Um, Merciless, I think, is an A plus card. Anyone to me that gets. A charge of X Factor and a pre-baked Unstoppable Force. No matter what the abilities are, he's going to be an A-plus card. He's going to be one of the best pass rushers in this game for sure. And finally, we have Jamal Charles. Jamal Charles, 5'11", 199. So his weight and his height isn't like game-breaking, but this card will be solid, okay? Um, you know, Chiefs, Broncos, Jaguars. First one free the X Factor as an ability. Um, of course, is able to get angry runs and freight train, all that stuff. But evasive, route tech, slot matic backfield master, short in elite, uh, short out elite, acrobat, human joystick, backyard halfback. Um, it, it, it is looking like this card is going to be a very good pass catcher. As you can see, that, that, that they juiced up the route tech and the slot matic Could be, I guess, a slot receiver option for you. But um, being able to stack first one free with angry runs, is that going to make a difference? I don't know. I think, he, I think he'll be a pretty solid card, though. I'll give Jamal Charles an A. A plus. Like, A, A plus. He's in that range, kind of. Uh, he's not, like, top of A plus, but he's in that middle spot right there. Because, yeah, I, I mean, I'll take first one free. Angry runs with evasive backfield master and human joystick. That's a pretty good combo to me. Because you get better catching, better route running with backfield master. You get the better juke move. You get joystick, which doesn't make a slight difference. Then you have first one free with angry runs. Or you can even, I mean, now nah, I would definitely run an angry runs or something like that on this card. So all in all, the Crucible promo, I mean, it's June content. You can't really complain too much on this card. I, do, I did want to see this card though. Bryce Hill looked pretty interesting. Um, seven feet hot route for one. If you can get this card for free, might not be bad. Sure, yeah, I mean, okay, all right, all right. I have a good rest of your day. Thank you for watching today's video. And as always, I will see you boys in the next one.